Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will be discussing about identifying premises and conclusion. Arguments encountered in real life are not usually in a neat and convenient form. Skill in identifying arguments made in ordinary language is highly useful. Let us consider the following two sets of statements. Set 1. There is a God and he created the world. Set 2. Since the world is an organized system, and all organized systems must have a creator, God exists. Therefore, God is the creator of the world. Both the sets state that God exists. But the first set does not supply any reasons why one should believe that God exists. Hence, it is not an argument. Whereas the second set provides reasons why one should believe that God exists. Hence it is an argument and it can be rearranged in the form of premises and conclusion. Now let us focus on set 2. Are there any keywords which can help us to identify premises and the conclusion? Yes, of course, there are certain keywords which can help us to identify premises and the conclusion. In the given set of statements, the keyword since, it helps us to identify the premises. And the keyword therefore, it helps us to identify the conclusion. That is why these keywords are called as premise and conclusion indicators respectively. Now let us try to rearrange the given set of statements in the form of premises and conclusion. Premise 1. The world is an organized system. Premise 2. Every organized system must have a creator. Conclusion. Therefore, God is the creator of the world. Sometimes the job of identifying the premises and conclusion can be made easier by the presence of certain premise and conclusion indicators. But we usually have to rely on the context in order to determine which are the premises and the conclusion. The list of premise indicators include for, since, because, for the reason that, assuming that. These are just few keywords which help us to identify the premises. And the list of conclusion indicators include, therefore, so, it follows that, hence, consequently, implies. These are just few keywords which help us to identify the conclusion. Let us take one more example. Let us consider the following set of statements. Since all humans have the capacity to love and forgive, and a peaceful society is possible with love and forgiveness, it follows that all humans should love and forgive. In this set of statements, the keyword since helps us to identify the premises. And the keyword it follows that it helps us to identify the conclusion. And the given set of statements can be rearranged in the form of premises and conclusion. Premise 1. All humans have the capacity to love and forgive. Premise 2. Peaceful society is possible with love and forgiveness. Conclusion. Therefore, all humans should love and forgive. Let us take one more example. Let us consider the following set of statements. In view of the death of many innocent due to careless police investigation, death penalty should be abolished. In this set of statements, the keyword in view of, it helps us to identify the premises. But in the given set of statements, we do not have any keyword which can help us to identify the conclusion. That is why we always should depend on the context to identify the premises and the conclusion. Now let us rearrange this set of statements in the form of premises and conclusion. Premise 1. Many innocent were put to death due to careless police investigation. 
conclusion. Therefore, death penalty should be abolished. This is an argument with a single premise, and arguments with a single premise are called as immediate inferences. Let us take one more example. Let us consider the following set of statements. So, it is raining heavily and there may be a flood, but I don't really care. This is not an argument. Though it starts with the conclusion indicator, so, it doesn't indicate any conclusion. Let's take one more example. Let us consider the following set of statements. Daniel will pay the price. After all, he loves his son and would do anything to protect him. In this set of statements, we do not have any keywords to help us identify the premises and the conclusion, but still it is an argument. And this set of statements can be rearranged as Premise 1. Daniel loves his son. Premise 2. Daniel will do anything to protect his son. Conclusion. So Daniel will pay the price. Now let us go through a summary on identifying premises and conclusion. There are no easy mechanical rules to identify arguments in real life. We usually have to rely on the context in order to determine which are the premises and the conclusion. But sometimes the job can be made easier by the presence of certain premise and conclusion indicators.